to truly believe in the magic. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to interrupt. Um, if you don't watch the YouTube channel View from the Cheap Seats, hopefully you do. Uh, Kyle's mm -hmm. just joined us and he's actually sat in section 103, I'm going to guess, behind the ozone. If you guys can see, he's panning out and he's sat inside the arena as it is. So uh, nice. quick shout out to Kyle. How are you doing? If you can hear us. If I could figure out how to take off mute, I would say hello. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little challenging to use this on the phone, that's for sure. It's all good. How, how are you doing, Kyle? Good. There's more people here than I expected. Hey, I told you. Yeah. You need to go and join our friends in the one in 106. Jonathan's in there. Yeah. Okay. We, st we still I don't know got... anybody else here. So is every everyone ma wearing masks like the uh, mandate now says? <laughs> so I'm not because I'm sitting rather far enough away, I think. So and if it's pan, like that's the closest people to me. Okay. Um, I don't see a lot of it while we're in the stands, but there was in the hallways. They're all getting ready to get their beers ready for, for eight o'clock. Yeah, they're all... Oh, sorry about the background noise. Hold on. Oh, he's muted. Well, I can. Yeah. Well, I think we can all agree we'd rather swap places with Kyle. <laughs> Most definitely. <100%. laughs> Has anybody here been over for the draft? No, I'd Wait, love no. to though. When it's been on. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did it when I was about fifteen. Okay. And my mum had a migraine, and I made her watch the whole draft, like all <laughs> lad, with a migraine. <laughs> priorities yeah yeah <laughs> bless her she still won't she still won't she's still out forgiving you now yeah exactly <laughs> who did we draft that day can you remember oh man that would have been a long time ago Jeez. yeah let me work that out hang on what <laughs> are you is it Dan yeah I'm trying to work out if I was like 15 that would have been like 96 97 oh god yeah it mm. wasn't a great draft for us because we were obviously flying at that point, but it couldn't be as bad as 2005 with Fran Vasquez. <laughs> Who? <laughs> exactly. That's a blast in the past. Well, it's not like even for the past, he never played for us. So. He's retired yeah. now, isn't he? I think, probably. Yeah, he must have. Yeah. <sighs> Paul, Paul won't. Paul won't know Fran Vasquez is, will you? Not a chance. Do we? Not a chance. So he's Spanish, right? Isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So he's Spanish, and uh, the Magic drafted him in 2005 to pair him up with Dwight Howard, and he and he never came. He stayed in. He stayed in playing for Barcelona. Barcelona. I believe. Yeah, and, uh, he actually went to the Magic to take like press photos and that. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> never he, actually he knew, played for the team. Go he knew better. <laughs> he knew better. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, love it <laughs> what are you hoping for tonight Kyle apart from a few beers I think best best available at this point right there's so many gaps in my opinion I mean I think there's so many gaps right I would love to see a big man you know like I'd like to rebuild the team maybe you know but I don't know I, you know it, it was towards the end of the season last year it was hard to keep track of like who, who's left yeah, mm. I will say, like uh, the beer and food situation is is not good here. So they have two two stands open all together. That's it. So oh, the God. lines are enormous. But in the stores, everything is fifty percent off. So they are blowing everything out. Okay. Wow. If you ever wanted a jersey or hats or anything, like literally everything is fifty off. Wow. I'm getting a shipping order from this conversation tonight, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll put our orders in the chat to you, Kyle, all right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> the shipping might kill it, though. Especially, yeah. if there's, especially if there's end deals available with like hen's teeth over here. Yeah, I'm making Angus love them. 
Yeah, you better you better believe it, Gary. <laughs> You're still waiting for yours, aren't you? They told us I had a conversation eventually with somebody in management that took me four phone calls to get somebody to actually speak to me. Um, a nice guy called Cameron. He's told me there should be in stock in the 30th for deliver 30th as well. It's now the 30th, isn't it? Okay, right, yeah. Now. And it is. if they, they've been told to get them in the 30th and get them sent out by Monday. I've got my pitchfork ready. Yeah, I'll be joining you. <laughs> Good I'll man. be waiting for mine as well. <laughs> Kyle, do they have the, uh, Kyle, do they have the uh, jersey in the store, in the team store? Which jersey? The earned, the white earned jersey. I don't think so. I think that there's slim pickings, but there are an awful lot of like mooch things and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's, it, it feels like a fire sale, you know, okay. like, so. Um, I think I mentioned this when I was on the, the show that when Amway Arena was closing, they had like literally like a fire sale, like everything was for sale, including the lockers and the chairs and stuff. It kind of feels like that again. Okay. Everyone's getting traded tonight then. That's why. That's, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> so so Luke, Luke's joined us from the six man show. What's up, Luke? <laughs> what's your eating? Guys. What's your eating? <laughs> <laughs> I just got off. Uh, I just put the daughter to bed. My wife's uh, doing at a bachelorette party, so I uh, she made some chicken and rice, like a Hispanic dish. So it's uh, it's hitting pretty good right now. I'm starving. So good stuff. Is that uh, is Jonathan still giving you grief since we yeah. saw you last about not having a Disney pass, Mikey? Jonathan's <laughs> never not giving me grief is it? <laughs> about, about anything. So. <laughs> He, uh, yes, of course, he still reminds me that I didn't invite him to Disney. Good. He's very hurt about that, so. I can tell, because it comes up on every one of your podcasts at the moment. Yeah, it might come it's out so tonight. Good. When we when we have all this big draft news, he's going to be still talking about me not inviting him to Disney. Good stuff. <laughs> good, man. So where do you live, Luke? Uh, I live in Nebraska. I live in Omaha, okay. Nebraska. Yeah, so I lived in uh, Florida um, until like two years ago took a job out here and uh and yeah and so now my wife and i've been here for two years and we've got uh we've got a baby who just turned 10 months old so she's starting to do all sorts of new things and trying to uh trying to walk uh probably soon here so she's starting to stand on her own and all that stuff now so it's it's crazy but yeah we're out here in omaha it's uh it's not all cornfields like a lot of americans will tell you nebraska is um it's uh it's, it's a pretty nice place it's actually double the size of orlando in population so it's it's pretty big and uh it's just really spread out and uh it's it's awesome we love it here so yeah wicked wicked yeah so we, we got how many people we got in here we got quite a few huh 24 25 paul's just text me he's ducking out now um unfortunately he's got his mum to uh to deal with tomorrow morning uh -oh. Gotcha. Who, um, so um, he's ducking out and having an early-ish night. So, but that's no cool. We're gonna have a good time. We'll have some. Uh, what time is it there? It is coming up to one a.m. Man, it's gonna be pretty late by the time this finishes. But you guys are used to that, right? Yeah, I've I've yeah. already told them. There's no way I'm staying up for sixty picks. So um, uh -uh. so <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll probably. We'll probably be here till like the middle of the first round, I reckon, till about I don't know two thirty three. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I know Jonathan said him and Kevin because we're going to stream after this. Okay. And uh, I know him and Kevin were saying that they're going to duck out probably after the first round, if not a little sooner. But we'll see. So well, we got. Yeah. So how many are there? 20, 24 of us. So no, oh, cool. Happy with that. So guys, thanks for coming out. And uh, joining us in the early hours for most of us. Um, just a couple of rules before the lottery. Oh, sorry, the lottery. We've already done, we've already been through all of that. Before the draft starts um, at one, um, try and keep your, your mics muted when you're not talking, just so we don't get too much interference. Um, I've got the uh, draft on a on my screen next to me. So when the picks are going in, I'm going to take my headphones off and watch it as it comes in. Um, and then we can all duck back in and, 
and talk about the picks as they come in, just so you can enjoy it rather than one or two spoiling it for one another if, if you're ahead of somebody else on the streams and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so have a good time. Um, we'll see what happens. So what do we... I think at this point, we all expect Cade number one, Josh, Gre uh, Josh yeah. Green, Jalen Green second, and uh, Evan Mobley third. So we'll see if the Magic can trade up into that third spot so Chris can take Evan Mobley because that's who you're going to die on the hill of, aren't you? Yeah, please. Hey? <laughs> please. <laughs> It all depends. Are the, are the Cavaliers anything like the Browns? Because if they are, then to be honest, they, they could pick anyone at three then. Yeah. Well, they picked Anthony Bennett at yeah. one. Wow. They could do anything. They haven't exactly. got a clue. That wasn't a great draft, though, to be fair, though, was it? I mean, think who's the best player to come out of that draft? Giannis, wasn't it? Mm, true. Yeah. Yeah. Giannis. Yeah. Giannis, so, and then... Bear, and then Oladipo, probably. Yeah. Mm. Anybody oh, seen some good. of these suits the guys are coming down and some of them are yeah, built and spectacular. To be fair, at yeah. least they fit properly now. Unlike true. the suits when LeBron was drafted and he's wearing <laughs> yeah, them like a dress. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's also it, forgot it, the actual, you guys forgot the actual best player to come out of that draft, uh, Michael Carter-Williams. Oh, <laughs> rookie of the there. year. Yes, mate. Absolutely. After a year, he was the best player in that class, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't he have a triple double in his first game? Like ridiculous stat, stat yeah. line. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I do actually remember after that draft thinking, "Oh, I wish we'd have got him. He's so good." Yeah, yeah. Good and then stuff. he was for a year. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, we got Dan in the room, yeah. Mikey. Hey, hey, Dan, how you doing? Good, fellas. How about yourselves? Good stuff. Well, are you excited for tonight? Oh, how could you not be? Can you this tell us like who it. we're going to draft now so we can get this out of the way? <laughs> I wish I could, but uh, I think Woj already tweeted, uh, you know, all, all the first oh. round picks and we're on to round two. I think it's on to, you know, number 33 by now, right? It's infuriating, <laughs> isn't it? Mm. Right? It's, who are we trading that stuff. for? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had those answers. They just, they just lock me in this room here with a bunch of TVs behind me and, uh, and give me just the ability to access zoom to you guys <laughs> and, and sit here and wait for uh for uh george galanti to uh give me a press release fair enough <laughs> good stuff well we got people from england scotland wales um nebraska we've got Italy. kyle who's sat just under the ozone hank's just joined up what's up hank mikey can you hear me buddy yes mate absolutely Awesome. Hey, let me spin this around for you guys so you guys can see, hopefully. Uh, let's see. On Zoom? Oh, up here. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Good times. Guys, remember, we've got the chat open as well. So if you want to chat amongst yourselves as well whilst we're um, chatting to, to Hank and Dan and, and talking between us. Oh, is Dan here too? I didn't mean to steal his thunder. Dan, Dan's just jumped in as well. So... Uh, yeah, so guys, if you've got any questions for Dan whilst he's here, whilst he's got some time before he uh, tells us that we're going to draft Kay Cunningham, um, <laughs> then uh, fire some questions at him. If, if you got, how, how long have you got, Dan? Uh, until, unfortunately, until I've just got, a, just got a few minutes here um, as things get uh, tipped off. Got to start uh, rallying all the different potential options together and... Uh, Trying to get a story around to you guys as quickly as possible and setting up stuff for the uh, subsequent press conferences. Awesome. Awesome. So, guys, if you've got any questions, fire away. I'll go for one. In your opinion, is there anyone untradeable that's on the roster right now? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. I mean, I think when you when you look at the roster at, at this point in in any reset or or rebuild, you you wanna you wanna keep your options open. However, you know there's a lot of talent um, that's on this team, especially under 24 years of age. They so have seven players, 23 or younger. And what you want to be careful is you brought these guys in because of skill sets that you admire. Um, you know the talent that they have. 
And we've seen throughout this league that if you, you know, trade a young player, um, perhaps before they've, you know, really had a chance to blossom, you could really miss out on something. So I think a lot of the guys that we have here were brought in for a reason. And uh, you really want to see if they can hit their potential uh, here in Orlando, especially uh, while you brought in a new coach. So I'd be very hesitant to make another, you know, big roster overhaul without seeing how guys fit with, with the new coach and, and everything at hand. Cool, cool. Anybody else? If Suggs did fall, would you say we'll try and move like faults or what do you think we would do with the rotation to fit him in? Mm -hmm. And anyway, where you, so you're saying if if Suggs was available at five and the Magic did select him, is, is that what would that we do with the other guys to fit them in the rotation together? Well, I think I think when you're going approaching the draft, especially at this stage of where the Magic are in in their uh, development, that you want to take, especially when you're picking at a position as high as five, you want to pick the best players available. Like with the with the former team, as it looked, where you had Vooch in there, who's, you know, an all star level center where you have, you know, and you're contending to try to push a team further into the playoffs. Maybe then you start thinking about, OK, we're drafting in the in the teens. We want specific fits. I think that's a little too early to do with where the magic are with the new head coach, with this team's development. You look at the best player available and then you figure out fit later. And as we're seeing in the NBA now, multiple guard sets are, are not a bad thing. I mean, you look at what the, the success the Toronto Raptors had, you know, just a few years ago with Fred Van Fleet and Kyle Lowry. Uh, you know, you're seeing teams now roll three guards out there, four guards out there with some small lineups. So uh, I, I right now, especially with the way this Magic roster is constructed, you take the best player available and, and then try to make the fit work later. Anybody else? I've got another one. Go for it, Barry. Do you think we will draft three players tonight? That, that's, a, that's a funny, that's the conversation I was just having because you look at this Magic team, uh, there are three rookies on it from last season when you consider the fact that RJ Hampton, was a rookie Cole Anthony Chumo Kiki was essentially his rookie season. So you're starting to add a lot of youth. So, but at the same time, uh, you want to see what talents, you know, potentially going to be there around 33 before you make a decision to just give a pick away. Uh, because as we see year after year, there's talent that can be found in the second part of the draft. Now the difference uh, between me and, you know, Jeff Weltman here is that, those guys are having those conversations. Those guys know what the boards look like. They know what teams are kind of having a feel here. So he perhaps, you know, has a more of a feel for something like that than, than I do. So it'll be, I think that's probably going to be one of the bigger questions of the, the magic tonight is do they opt to take, you know, three players, what kind of movement do they do? Do they trade back? Do they trade up? Those are going to be the big questions. And I'm sure that's why it's been a, a busy couple of weeks for, for Jeff and his, his crew. Garing, have you got a question? Anybody? Yeah, Anything? go on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go on, go on, you carry on. Yeah, I just want to say, if, just want to ask if the Magic still believe in more and is available for trade or maybe we can just wait another year and <laughs> be, I don't know, worried. Well, I think as, as you saw uh, from the video that the, the team released is one of the first things that, uh, you know, Jamal Mosley did uh, as a head coach with the Orlando Magic is he got down there and, and started working with Mo Bamba. So, you know, Mo's had been in a situation, you know, prior to, uh, to Vooch's departure where he's been playing behind, you know, an all-star level center. He's had to deal with some injuries, uh, you know, He's, he's really struggled with having a true off season uh, where he's had a chance to work. You know, he had the COVID situation. He had, a, you know, an injury situation in his past. So I think this is a situation where you, you want to be careful about, you know, jumping to conclusions. He's got a new head coach to work with him, see how he fits there. He, he no longer has Vooch in front of him. And, you know, when you look at contract year situations, sometimes that brings out the best in players. So you want to know, like I say, before you consider trading any player, you really want to know what you have in a player. And I could say, 
I think we can all sit here for certainly and say, you, you don't really fully know what you have in, in Mo Bamba yet. We saw flashes in that second half of the season after Vooch was traded, uh, where he put up some of his best blocking numbers, put up some of his best rebounding performances. So there's talent there. Uh, when he was drafted, you knew that there was going to be, you know, some projection you were doing there with his talent. And for a guy like that, I would argue that off seasons are almost as valuable as game experience. And he really hasn't had a chance to do that yet. So uh, you want to be careful making any of those type of moves, especially with young players that require development. Jay? Oh, th thank you, Dan. Um, yeah, Dan, how, how long ago do you think the Magic knew who they were picking, or do you think they don't know still until the, it sort of pans out? Well, I think, you know, up until, you know, close to draft night, they're always – processing information you know stuff's always coming in you're always revisiting your board and stuff like that but the the tough part when you're drafting five uh you know as opposed to you know number one is that there are four teams in front of you also weighing out what are their best decisions i mean you know it's reported you know you have Woj report that a team at number one made their decision today they finally locked in but then he still, you know, has an out that unless they're, you know, perhaps blown away by a trade offer. So there's a lot of elements and dominoes that can fall ahead of a team. But I would say, you know, that's always one of the questions we ask as media members uh, after the draft happens is how long have you been looking at this guy? And I, I think you really have to figure out what's happening ahead of you. Uh, I think their board, they've figured out which guys they like, and there's usually different tiers of those. So it'll be interesting to see. I, I would say that you probably have a clearer picture of what you're looking at at five than maybe you do at eight, because to me, it seems like even as looking at mock drafts, even what you hear from other teams, uh, things after, you know, after pick three, maybe whatever could blow really wide open. So in every year we look back at these drafts and you're like, okay, like take a look at example last year, like how many teams had Patrick Williams mocked you know, that high. Uh, and then all of a sudden he goes and then, okay, all of a sudden a different set of dominoes occurs. And I think as I believe Matt Lloyd alluded to on the pod squad appearance he had, and I've, you know, heard this from a number of people is that without like the true combine, a lot of these in-person things, you know, going on, uh, there's less opportunity for groupthink, And there's going to be players that teams thought wouldn't be available that are, are available. There's going to be a lot of different boards. This uh, the depth of this draft in, you know, areas four through 20, especially it is exceptional. And it's going to be your kind of ice cream flavor that you want to choose from. So I think it's going to be a really interesting night. I'm excited for it. I think there's going to be a lot of activity and there's going to be a lot of like, whoa, this guy, you know, potentially went here uh, starting in the, in the mid part, mid part of that lottery. So I I'm excited for it. Well, and I know you. we all want to talk about the draft tonight, but have you had a chance to talk to, to Coach Mosley yet? And what, what do you think we can expect for him? Because he's a big part of whoever we draft tonight as well, isn't he? Yeah, no. Uh, the one thing that I've been just blown away with, and I, I was on a little bit vacation uh, before that, but I, I was here on the day he was hired and had the opportunity to spend some extended time with him, explain what I do and hear from him, you know, kind of his priorities. The one thing that's amazed me about him is his ability as a communicator, uh, name recognition, just all that stuff, it, you know, making you uh, genuinely feel that he's interested in, in what you have to say and what you have to do. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to get a feel for that stuff real early. His was evident from the moment he got here. It was like, whoa, okay, I see why this guy has this reputation. And when you talk to other people around the league who've been around them, they speak so highly of him. And I think with a young team like the Magic are going to have where you have already, uh, like, as I mentioned, seven players, 23 years or younger currently on the roster, you have the opportunity to add three or more of those type of players tonight. That's going to make a big difference. And, you know, his specialty, the way he started in this league and player development is evident in the way he carries himself. Um, you know, he's played basketball at a very high level himself. Uh, he's an impressive, impressive guy. And, uh, you know, we saw him in some of these videos mixing it up with players like Mo, uh, you know, he's not afraid to get in there and, and do his thing still in game shape. You know, we've heard those stories of, uh, 
you know, him doing MMA training and, and you could see it in him, you know, I'm an MMA watcher and you're like, all right, I could see how this guy could do some damage in the MMA ring. And he says he does it just, you know, for the mental part, but you know, he, he's got that, he's got that way about him. He's got a good way of carrying himself. Um, you know, I'm really impressed with him so far and excited to see, you know, how he goes moving forward, especially working with a number of these young guys. Cool. Well, Adam Silver's just stepped on stage. And as everyone expected, Cade has gone number one. We all, all right. expected that. I, I, only, I only have a, another minute here available, so I'd just like cool. to hear from a few of you guys. Uh, you know, who are you hoping for tonight? Uh, I'll start with me. I'm hoping that we get Jalen Suggs, that he, dro that he drops to number five and, and possible. Mo Moses Moody's been the guy that I, I've wanted for for that second, that second pick at number eight, so... Hopefully one of those two guys I'll be happy with. Can I hope the green somehow falls to us at five? <laughs> <laughs> or the one I really wanted was um, Trey Murphy the third with the 33 pick, but he seems to be moving up into the first round. Because he could shoot. Yeah. I think, uh, I think I've settled on wanting Moody at five. I think that five and eight, there's not that big of a gap anymore. I think Kaminga, a lot of people were a lot higher on him months ago. He's dropped a little bit. It's Barnes now, uh, seemingly. And uh, I think that <laughs> Moody <laughs> does does everything. So if you – if you, you he's a shooter. Magic fans complain about scoring all the time. He's going to get you buckets. So I think uh, I'll just take him at five and not to sweat if he's there at eight because Golden State, State scoops him at seven. I think that uh, – that's kind of where I'm at right now, Dan. All right. Yeah, for me, it's Kaminga at five, and I'd like Moody at eight. But in an ideal world, I'd like us to move up to two or three and get perhaps Mobley or Green. But, you know, we can all hope. Let's <laughs> hope he's working the phones right now. I got a, I got a guy back there who's working the phones. So I got a guy back here who's working the phones. Can you see? Can anybody see? Got, got George Galanti in there. Oh, George, uh, it's nice. out of work. That's... <laughs> talking all... all of Europe. Yes, it's all. <laughs> Good man. Awesome. We're sequestered in here. <laughs> are, you, are you locked in and not allowed out, Dan? Is that what it is? Yeah, no, they've, they've shut the door on me uh, as we go through reconstruction here uh, in our offices. Outrageous. So we're, we're locked in. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, once you, once they let you in the lottery room, you, you can't go out, they take, take your phone, but, uh, and not be phone. like the shining and with the axe, get through the door. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Now, now it, uh, I shut the door. So that way, in case I was giving draft pick analysis, nobody would overhear me too much. Um, but no, it, it's a lot of fun always here in draft night and we got the media room set up. So it's nice to see a lot of those guys again. Cause, uh, you know, obviously when our season was going on, a, a lot of it was either extremely social distanced or, or not together. Now we do have our mask mandate back, uh, in this particular area, but you know, it's nice to see a lot of those faces. Uh, we started seeing them here and there again, but you know, probably have our, one of our bigger contingents, uh, here today. So good seeing a lot of those people and, um, you know, we'll have all the, the press conference show starting you for you today. And then we'll have another one, um, you know, going on tomorrow afternoon. That'll be streamed on Facebook Live. Awesome. Well, we'll let you go, Dan. All right. Thanks, well, it was good thanks. seeing thanks. you guys. I'm happy to hear some of the excitement. And, you know, remember, uh, two picks in the, in the top eight of this draft, I think, is going to be really exciting. There's a lot of players with, with a lot of upside, uh, a lot of tremendous upside. So, uh, you know, I went through and, and looked at a lot, number of these guys and myself and Josh <laughs> Cohen. So we've got some unique perspectives we'll share on OrlandoMagic.com. Um, you know, talk to some of these guys, coaches already, et cetera. So uh, I, I just really like, you know, after looking at all the different scenarios, the players that are going to be available, both at five and eight for this team to choose from, uh, you're going to add some really good quality pieces. So a lot to be excited about. Good man. Good man. Well, yeah. try and enjoy the evening. Make sure uh, George is still hard at work. <laughs> I'll do I'll do my best. Uh, I'll make sure he hasn't, hasn't stolen my... Uh, helping of uh, four rivers we got catered here so <laughs> good stuff all right, good barbecue. All, all, all right. the best mate thanks for jumping on
All right. See you guys later. All the best. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, Dan. Cheers. Dan. Cheers. So, Cade number one. Are we expecting Scotty Barnes to go number two? <laughs> <laughs> that would please a few people. Yeah, we can hope. We can, hope. can you imagine? Can you imagine the outrage? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> man, you spend so much time hoping that the magic trade up to two for to essentially get Jalen Green, and all of a sudden here it is. The pick is on. Pick is in. So um, it's crazy. But our our time is slipping away to get to get him. It looks like. Mm. I'm just wondering how this how this video is going to age in like three four years time, and we're all going. Please don't be Scotty Barnes, and it's like <laughs> it's <laughs> the end of Scotty Barnes. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you'll be posting to take it down off of YouTube. That's what you'll be doing. <laughs> oh, the second picks in. Adam Silver's got a long walk to the stage. I think I must be ahead of you because I've just seen it. I will keep quiet. Oh. Yeah, you're well in front of me. You must be. Well, I'm on Sky. And yeah, I'm on not, Sky. Not on yeah, you. same. Yeah, I'm on Now TV. Same here. You lot are getting paid too much if you've got Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm using one of my mate's sisters, Sky Go. Because <laughs> uh, I'm cheap. <laughs> uh, I watch it on my TV. So. Um, must be online, it's a bit behind the actual box. Yeah, we, I've got the pick on Sky here as well, Mikey. You must be a minute or so behind. Am I? It's my slow broadband living in the I middle of nowhere. They have, <laughs> let's take a Scotty Barn second. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's in now. You... Don't wind Chris up. Does no. everybody know? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That is one bad suit, though, isn't it? God, that's that is right. awful. That's, Man, that's, that is yeah, terrible. That's Probably good. the one that drew my attention earlier. Oh, wait to see Kai Jones from Texas. That's bad. Is it? And Kamingas, have you seen I his? Kamingas. I like think Kamingas is orange. Crying. He stands it, though, at least. Mm, <laughs> What's he got on awful. underneath the suit, though? That's what I want to know. Yeah, that's one. Luke, I reckon Jonathan might have one of those stuck in his closet somewhere. <laughs> I think I saw him. I saw him wear it. I had to have him take it off before the show last week. <laughs> <laughs> to be, I, I'm not going to lie. It's not a good look when your hair's like puffing mm. out the side of a hat, is it? I'll be honest. Kobe oh, White status. Yeah. yeah. Kitting out like that. That, yeah. that suit is subtle compared to Kaminga's, though. Mm. It's, just like, really it's, Kamin- <laughs> it's, it's Kamin- the bright orange one. Yeah, oh, oh, he's, going, he's going with our city uniforms. That's what it is. Just come out and just go for it. If you're going to do something mad with crazy colors, just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> you you maybe this is the last desperate plea to put, say, Please pick me a five. I don't want to drop any lower and lose all that money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, T- tell us something. Does any of the guys in think where they? The way Barnes seems to be shooting up, that Cleveland will take him at three. Please. I think you might. Maybe. Hmm. He seems to be the one that's got the most momentum at the moment. You have been drinking too much if you think that's going to happen. <laughs> I haven't touched a drop, Mikey, I'll tell you. <laughs> they, uh, hey, wait, something to... anything can happen. They, uh, I do know that they made a, a trade official. I won't spoil anything else about the draft, but it's... Hmm. Uh, it's in regard to Russell Westbrook. Oh, it's official now, is it? It's a, it's official. Yeah, the Lakers and Wizards have agreed. Wow. <clears throat> I know. I know it doesn't go through. Is it the sixth of August? Like a, another week's time, it can't be finalized. But yeah, I think so. the framework's yeah. there. Yeah. Anyone so. see the shoes that he's wearing with that suit as well? Yeah, awful. Oh. Just to cap it off. <laughs> I need to look now. They are bad. wings on them. Oh. He looks like a member of the Bee Gees, doesn't he? <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> All right, I see where you're going. Well, 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 I'm a member. By the 1971. That's bad. That is awful. <laughs> oh, I'm glad they didn't cheat up from the now. You should be on a soul train. <laughs> you're glad you did. Who said we, you're glad you didn't pick him now? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me, I'm just trying to make myself feel better. Oh, buddy. 
I mean, is it any worse than Trey Young's outfit? Was it like a suit jacket and shorts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. His mum didn't look very happy then, did she, to start off with? Fuming. Happy right now. I mean, he'd be happy going to Houston. <laughs> Yeah, she, she has ended up in Houston, to be fair. Alternative being Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather go to Houston, I think. Mm, maybe. Anyone see Cole Anthony's in the house? Is he? Yeah, hmm. yeah he was uh, hugging Spike Lee just a minute ago. Okay. I love that kid. I yeah. love Cole yeah, Anthony. Definitely. I love, love, love that attitude. He is brilliant. What an attitude he's got! I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be a big player for us. Yeah, I'm still not. I'm still not sold that he's got a huge ceiling. Mm, I know what you but, mean. But but you do feel like he's gonna be an important part of he the rotation like six, moving six forward. Man of the year sort of candidate, yeah. or something like that in mm. the future for sure. What was it you said on draft night? It's the biggest night of my life apart from both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, fair play. <laughs> oh, the Cavs pick is in. Oh, Wait, no uh, laughing if you're a head for the Cavs pick. <laughs> yeah. If Scotty Barnes is, is picked, you're allowed to cheer early, all right? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, <laughs> had a, didn't mute the TV. This is where we trade, isn't it? <laughs> Would you say that? Is it... You know when we drafted um, Chris Webb, has anyone heard the story about Shaq's reaction to it? Yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 Kicked off. He yeah. wanted pennies and, badly. His yeah, then, and then suddenly, if a few minutes later, we tr- if they announced the trade, he was like, oh, okay, I'm all right now. <laughs> yeah, because he basically threatened to leave the team, right, if they didn't trade for Penny. And then did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But I love how he didn't know who Penny was until he was on set filming Blue Chips. Oh, box. Yeah. <laughs> so Mobley is the pick at three, if you don't yeah. already know. I think that was a given, right? I, I'm like last on the list there, people of <laughs> getting the <laughs> No, theme. you're not. I'm, Am I yeah. not? I'm, basically, I'm basically the same as you, Mikey. Oh, <laughs> sorry, mate. Thank you. You're, that's good. You're fine. <laughs> so we're thinking that the Raptors are going to end up taking Suggs. Or yeah, are they, they going to get rid of the most hated man in the NBA? This is where the, the draft is going to... Could flip upside down a little bit, isn't it? The first three seems to have went where everybody's expected. But as you see, Mikey, this is where it could get interesting. Yeah. John Taylor taking if, Suggs. They're going to take Suggs, aren't they? It's gonna, yeah. yeah. They're going to so. take Suggs. It, yeah. It's a bummer. If they take Scotty Barnes, then surely Siakam's gone, isn't he? Are they not trying to shop Siakam just now? There's been rumours of it. Well, this is where it gets interesting. Really? Oh, they're just showing Mobley now and um, they're asking him what his favourite dessert is. <laughs> Sorry, but who cares? <laughs> he also has an extensive sneaker collection, so everything. I saw that too. What a, what a thing to put up on the screen. I'll say that again, Kyle. So, what a thing to put up on the screen. He has an extensive sneaker collection. <laughs> well, it's better than his favorite food. <laughs> His favourite dessert. Favourite celebration as well. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I would have liked to see him in the Magic. Test. Yeah. Yeah. But we're just going to have to settle for Scotty Barnes, Kyle. So that's how it's going to go down. <laughs> I'm, go pick I'm just going straight to bed. Oh, yeah. You're not even going <laughs> to wait. If we get Barnes, I'm going straight to bed. The thing is, a lot of this could be a lot of smoke screen, couldn't it? People talking about Kaminga dropping, Scotty Barnes rising up the boards, Book Knight being in there as a potential pick. Do you know the thing, Mikey? It depends on whether whether they're going to draft for floor or draft for ceiling. Yeah. And if you're drafting for ceiling, I think you go with Kaminga. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. Yeah, I think a lot of it, like in the same vein, is like, 
you know, you're, you're gotta, they're going to choose whether they want to draft somebody that they want to take a long time to develop. That's like a project or somebody that can contribute day one, you know, Kuminga definitely is like the epitome of a project. That's like how many people or how many young guys is too many young guys to develop. And I think that that's why I'm hoping they go one guy that's kind of a home run hit and one guy that's a safer pick, safer pick for me. And what a lot of people have said is that Moody is the safest pick in terms of like, you know, the floor and contributing right away. But Kuminga and even Barnes, I mean, those guys are projects, especially Barnes on the offensive end. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. I I genuinely just don't see where you put Barnes. Where, Where do you put him? You've got two guys that play, you know, pretty much to his strength just now. So I just don't see, you know, why you're going to grab another guy who's a good defender but can't shoot. And it's like, well, I've got a lot of guys who are great defenders and can't shoot. Yeah, well, Barnes, Barnes is good at facilitating. I think that that's his biggest strength. He's a big dude, but he, I think, honestly, I think you could see him running point sometimes. I think that, you know, throughout the game, he gets put up point and he's able to facil- facilitate uh, with, you know, Markel and Cole Anthony coming off screens and pen downs and all that kind of stuff and RJ as well. And just letting Scotty run the offense, I think that's honestly how you would probably see it a lot of the time. Is uh, because if you put him anywhere else, I'd, I mean, I don't trust him shooting the ball much. So I'd rather him just run the offense and then clamp up on defense. See, my issue with that is though, if you've got too many non-shooters on the court, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Kaminga. Oh, that's Kaminga about, about shootings. Kaminga shootings not much better though. When you look at the stats, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, neither can hit a free throw. I don't think his form. I think I like, his form's all right though. I don't think. I, yeah. the, the thing is, like, you got to look at Yanis as an example. The guy's taken eight years to get to the point he's at. So mm-hmm. true, lads, you've, lads, you've re- lads. Barnes is off the ball. Barnes is gone. Have they seen this? Oh, Barnes no. is gone. You guys are wow. ahead. <gasps> yeah, Barnes is away. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I had to. Angus, see if you're, with that one. you're no. winding us up. No, he's away. It's just in fact, honestly, are honestly. you kidding honestly, me? Honestly, yeah, I, 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 I had to jump on that there. I really had to. He's been fact. Oh, wow. Is, is wow. Is wow. wow. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <laughs> what did I just say, no, five minutes ago? What's the chances of moving up? <laughs> did anyone actually leave it? That's crazy. Oh, oh, Ollie's right. happy. You watch, <laughs> you watch Orlando do it. You watch Orlando do it. Look do at Chris's reaction. Wait, oh, <laughs> you watch Orlando not pick Suggs at five. Good to be Suggs. Oh, it's oh, good to be Suggs now. Can you imagine? Uh, oh, why put so Jalen Suggs when we got Josh Giddy? Just done a lap of the living room. Oh man, <laughs> I called I'm it. So far behind. Little Scotty, what? <laughs> can I can I claim I called him going up the draft? Um, yeah. We can't fumble this now. We can't. We fumble. have to take Suggs now. <laughs> if we don't take Suggs, then I'm switching off. Yeah, guys. This is, this is where we pick Moses Moody. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, so entangling, eight. he's entangling the, the, the most magic pick at number five. I'm sweating now. Yeah. My heart is oh. going. <laughs> if it's not Suggs, we're a riot. How are the lads? Right, guys, I'm taking my headphones off to the pick soon. Yeah, so, uh, mm. enjoy. Yeah. It's got to be Suggs. It's got to yeah. be. A lot of Raptors fans actually wanted Barnes, so... I'm pretty sure this place is going to, like, riot or start a fire if it's not Suggs, because they were just chanting him. So I, I'm not going to say anything, because NFL-wise, I'm a massive Raiders fan, and we never pick the consensus pick. Ever, 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 ever. ever. 
So I'm saying nothing on it. Tonight might be the night. Yeah, there's some tension. Oh, hang on. It's starting to come in. That must be a good minute behind, actually, the draft by Sky, then. Must be. Yeah. Uh, false alarm. I thought they cut to the script, to the stage, but then they've gone to an advert. Enough, I'm, right. I'm still watching Scotty Barnes chatting. Yeah, me too. I've, I've got an advert on Sky just now. Yeah. Yes, man, I'm actually using a legit Sky. As I say, it's my mate's sister's Sky, so goodness knows on the Xbox. Who thinks that we'll hear the air coming out the Amway for here if they don't pick <laughs> us? <laughs> I just got excited for a second. I saw Donovan Mitchell on screen then thought, hang on, no, a bit late to draft him. You're kidding me. Now's a bloody ad break. <laughs> <laughs> just drop by. He's got used to well, this because, well, as I said, well. as a Raiders fan, the NFL draft do this every year. Oh. Any team that's worth pick, it goes to the advert. Mate, every time, Barry. Every time, mate. It drives me mental. Yeah, but it doesn't take long for you guys with Raiders. You, you know, you normally pick within the first oh, half, don't you? Oh, here we go. Just because you, you got Big Tom, eh? Don't get jealous, mate. Don't get jealous. You know, we've only got three Super Bowl wins, so come on now. Yeah, you, you didn't care about the Buccaneers until Brady got there. Exactly. <laughs> of course. Hey, Champa Bay, mate. Champa Bay. How many titles have they got all together? Because I'm Bucks. a 49ers Bucks got, fan. Bucks got two. Well, think that's that's... Then, mate, is it? I think Jerry Rice has got more than two on his own, hasn't he? Aye, Raiders are free, so we're good. Do you remember the last time you were in the Super Bowl? Yeah, we lost. 1981. <laughs> lost to the Bucks in 2003. We were cheated for the Bucks in 2003 because John Gruden knew the playbook and we were too stupid to change it. Yeah. Yeah. You just said it there. You were too stupid. I've, I've never got that one. I've never understood that one ever. But you know, the guy that's coached us for years, but we'll just play the exact same plays that he drew up. <laughs> John Barry, that was my first year of being a Raiders fan. So I was like, Super Bowl. And yep. then just shite for yeah. <laughs> every other year since. Yeah, Marcus from... Russell, have that. <laughs> Mate, I mean, I remember the years of Kerry Collins as the quarterback and yep. just, oh, just absolute dross. My first year watching him, the Jeff Hostetler, which okay. is fun enough, the first year that I started watching the Magic as well. Yeah. So we've got a few other Buccaneer fans in here, have we? Show no. your hand. Yeah, we do. Not Ollie, real ones. Ollie, Ollie real Diamond. Ones. No, I was the I was the original 2003 bandwagon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the pick is in. Pick's in. All, All right. right. See, See you guys later. later. Come on. No spoilers. But do you know what? I'm putting this on. For the cave mute use, can I? There we go. <laughs> oh, happy days. We got, we got. Let's get Kaminga at eight now. Seen it then, Mikey. Take that all day long. Yep, we'll take that. I'm still just not quite sure how they're all going to fit in together. You better not go on. Yeah, it's going to be a Which problem. Right. Sucks. It could be a problem. Probably. Result. And Cole. It's, it's going to be an issue, but I still want Moses Moody. 
Well, this is it, yeah. Like, like, we yeah. Have we got too many yards? We need to shoot that's it, that's hey. the problem, Jacob, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's like you've got to play them. That's true. We don't have a natural. The Raptors small will do forward, something though, do similar where they, they put a few guards out in rotation instead of the bigs now. Mm. I, mean, I mean, you can't really have any ball handlers, I suppose. Like in, in the NBA now, I don't think you could have too many. Um, so it could work. Um, to be fair. Just who we take at eight now. I mean, can Moody play the three? I think he can, yeah. I think he, I think he can play the three. So. Oh, Jalen uh, Suggs. What about Kispert? Uh, nice. What about Kispert and Ace to join the Gonzaga college graduates together? Luke, are you, uh, are you happy with Suggs? I don't know, man. I mean, no, I'm I know you're not. <laughs> I'm on, I don't, I, I can't, I haven't sold myself on Suggs. Like, I, I just don't know. I don't know, man. I, I was, I was torn on him because. The fact that I don't know how he fits with guard play, right? But I also acknowledge that's the pick you have to make at five. You you can't pick anybody but Suggs in that situation. Exactly. And and you just yeah, if he's on the board, you take him. And guess what? He's a winner. He's he he wins, and he you know uh, he's got a lot of heart. He he's a guy that you want on the team. Yeah. So in terms of personality, I think so. Uh, We'll see. I'm, I am hesitant. I'm cautiously optimistic. I think. Kyle, 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 any day of the week. Kyle how was the uh, reaction in the Amway? Electric. This place exploded. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good times. I think people are hyped. Are you hyped though? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd like to win at some point in my life here. You know, this has been a long time coming for the matchup. <laughs> Quality. See, see, when you've been watching the team since 2012, all you've ever seen is rebuild other than the <laughs> season or two there in the playoffs. <laughs> it's the, it's, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> oh. Angus, do you know, I said this to one of my mates the other day. I said, you know, it's really hard. I said, I'm a Raiders fan and they're shit. And I'm a Magic fan. <laughs> and the not, we've been shit. And I'm, I'm Scottish, and we're shit. And I'm a Rangers fan, and we get the motor to the third division. And that's just, just back to being relevant now. So it's like, no matter what sport I put on, I'm like, this is shit. Barry, try and be a Kamala supporter. We just get relegated. Well, did, you just, did you just know get put out of the cup by an absolute nobody? No, we, we, play, we played an, a, a suspended player against East Kilbride and it cost oh, that's us... They awarded, the, the they awarded East Kilbride a 3-0 win. Yeah. That's it's, like, that's it's, like, it's like fifth level in Scotland. Yeah. Does, does anybody need hey, any um you know, any of subtitles at the moment? I've, I've, I've got any. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, guys, I'm just oh, joking. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I'm just kidding. I, I was just re rewording the, some of the names there because I, I had ranges. I translated to Sevco. Hey, I'm a Celtic before as well. So last season was horrific. I mean, you were so much better than us. It was I, I can't even try to pretend there was it was anything good to, about last season. So is that me? You watched your game last night. No, but I saw the result and I just thought, oh, oh my word, this is horrific. This is, we aren't winning the league again this year. I mean, you, you could win 10 in a row, how bad we are at the moment. See, see to be honest, I'm not even being funny. Celtic need to worry about finishing third this year because Aberdeen are actually looking not Oh, too yeah, bad. no. I, mean, I was worried last year. I mean, you, all through the season, you think, oh, we can still recover from it. Uh, and then towards the end of the season, when you realise how bad it was, you just start thinking, well, Aberdeen aren't that far behind us. No, they weren't. They, weren't. they really weren't. They were Hibs. I'm Happy draft day, you know. boys. <laughs> <laughs> I also support Norwich, so last season was good, and um, this season I've got to look forward to us um, not winning any games. I don't know. You've, you've, got, you've got the best young Scottish talent has just signed on loan for oh, yeah. Chelsea. I know. I, I think that's a class signing for us. I was well happy when we got him. He's a great wee player. He'll yeah. do well for you this year. Do you, want, yeah. do you want my prediction for Norwich this year? Go on then. Twelfth. Oh, can I, can I have that now? I'll take that. 
Hey, any man. I, honestly, I think Norwich are building the right way. Both. Just a bit worried when we let Buendia go. Mm. I think I think we still do it. The coach, the coach, the plan. Oklahoma pick is in, guys. Oops. Find a way to get somebody in the open look, and then it works out for the match. They pick. I'm so far behind on this draft. Any predictions on this pick? I didn't know he was Terrell Suggs' cousin. That's Minty's. That's a shocker. Didn't expect that. That kid with the OKC jersey on just looks so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What? That was... Kaminda could be available at eight now. Kaminda could be around at eight. If you wanted. So who's left? Kaminga? Moody? Moody. Did we get leave either Kaminga or Moody? Or... Boot night. And boot I think we might walk over with three as well. I think we're going to trade down as well. We have too many guards, I think. One of one of Gary Harris or Terence Ross is gone tonight. Are they no talking about the Orlando Magic potentially trading back to ten? But yeah, that was because Memphis wanted Giddy, but he's gone at six now, so that's you know that skewed it up a little bit. Why did Memphis yeah. want Giddy? They've, they've they went got... Giddy. Damn. I can't see why Memphis would want Giddy when they got Moran. That's it a reach. Doesn't really make any sense. Man, that is a reach, isn't it? It is a reach. Yeah, I, don't like, I don't like that pick. That's crazy. He's, I, I, I like Giddy. But... That is well, a worse I, reach than Barnes I, I, I think probably Golden, Golden State might very well take book night, so you'll you probably get a shot at Kaminga or Moody. Oh. Moody. Moody. Well, you... Kaminga's perfect now because you've yeah. got the garden sugs. I agree, yeah. Will. I agree, mm. mate. I wonder if Golden State will take whoever they think somebody would trade for. I, I genuinely think they'll take Book, mate. Mm. Just another pure shooter. Yeah. Maybe they, it depends what they've got in mind with, with, with Ross. That can dictate what we're going to do. We just put up on Sky, just put up a, a, a thing about notable Australian born first round pick. But, mm, they haven't got Kyrie <laughs> up there. Wasn't he born in Australia? I don't know if he was born in Australia. He certainly lived out there, didn't he? Grew up there, I think, yeah. yeah. You mentioned him on the ESPN feed. I'm still laughing at that OKC fan. <laughs> Fuming. <laughs> that was as deflated as we thought we might that's, be. That's usually us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's not absolute uproar in Toronto and OKC right now. There's... <laughs> Oh, especially Toronto. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Two of them would be interested in live feeds at the moment. <laughs> I do wonder if maybe do Toronto think Larry's going back? Because otherwise, it just doesn't make any sense why you don't take Green. I mean, <clears throat> See, that's, that's that is the same mm. one for me. I, I thought they would take Suggs because I'm pretty certain that Lowry was going to leave. Yeah. Mm. And again, it's a bit like the Isaac thing. How does he fit with Siakam? Yeah, is it maybe Siakam that's going to go then? Maybe, maybe they're resetting their timeline a little bit. Wow, that top four has been set for years. Giddy looked so weak then. It's meant to be in the Olympics, isn't it? Yeah, but he's still got bigger ankles than JI. <laughs> that would be old difficult. chicken legs. <laughs> yeah, he is at the Olympics, isn't he? He's do some car freezes. No. If you were at the Olympics, would you really go to the draft? Yeah. You meant to be... I'm sure he was at the Olympics. I would. There were the, in the exhibitions, all, all the draftees, Isman Gruber was there as well. He's done the Olympics. I still can't believe we've got Jalen Suggs. 
How's Scotty Josh Giddy is so shocked. Yeah. How's Scotty Barnes gonna fall? It's amazing. <laughs> See the video of the Amway when we got uh, announced Suggs. Yeah. I so again, Mikey. Have you seen the, the video of the Amway? When it's on we, Twitter, uh, is it? I posted it up in the group. Okay. Oh, sweet. Let's have a look. Did anyone see RJ Hampton as well? He put a post on from his from his phone. He, he was uh, talking to Suggs on FaceTime today. <laughs> and he screen grabbed it. He was like, I called it, basically. I mean, where are we sitting? We know at Gardner, so we're sitting with Cool. RJ, Hill, Michael Carter Williams, <laughs> Dwayne Bacon, Jason Randall, Ross. Oh, he, Jason Randall's gone. Jason Randall's gone, man. That's I just got on Twitter, and apparently John Hollinger has been saying that we we might be trying to get another pick in the teens to get um, Zaya Williams. Yeah, I've heard that. I had that one. Mm. I mean, if we're super high on him, then... I think Terrence wants us involved in that. The yeah, the game next game 19th pick. I think he'll be available there. Best of eight. Best of eight. Best of eight. Best of eight. The Warriors take boot night here, surely. But Moody wasn't on that list. No. Oh, yeah, Moody's still there, isn't he? I think we'll take oh, Schengen anyway. <laughs> well, it'll be, Com- it'll be Kaminga or Moody. Yeah. I mean, if we're getting Zoe Williams at like 19, maybe we go Moody or Boot Knight over there. I think it's rumours Kaminga's going to Golden State, maybe. Boot- I'm taking Boot Knight. Yeah. I thought they'd take Boot Knight. I'm taking Boot Knight at eight if he's there. So, guys, whoever's first in the feed, can you just shout out the pick is in? So, we've all got a bit of a heads yeah. up on Obin doing it anyway. Cool. Peter's coming, guys. Picks in. Picks in. I'm Miles, man. Yeah, picks in there. All right. Kaminga. Taking Moody's Moody, because that's who I want. Bollocks. I'm calling it. <laughs> I think Wigan is on the way out of Golden State. Damn, I wanted him. No, I, th- I, th- I, th- I, th- I think the probably go book night. Makes more sense for them. Damn. Yeah, it is what it is. It would have been good getting him at eight. Never mind. I still think Moody's a good shot. Come on, Moses. I'd be happy with Moody. He fit right in with our team the way it is at the minute as well. See, to be honest though, see with the amount of good players still left now, do you think that as well maybe... Mm. Mm. Still, still getting another good player and grabbing an extra picking mm. the teams maybe maybe I saw earlier and I don't know if this was legit but somebody tweeted to say that apparently the Magic have promised that France Wagner yeah. won't go past the Magic at 8 yep so I saw that too it might be it might be a bit of BS but I also saw we're not going to dra- draft another name with Fran as a first name. After, uh, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, good shout, Liam. And about how many Orlando Magic draft picks have never lost and not played for another team? To be fair, if we um, if we draft Wagner, at least they won't have to, to put any more jerseys together. They've already got them in there. Which <laughs> used last season's. So if he picks the same number as well, though. Exactly. Yeah, just recycle his jersey. Crack on. I wouldn't mind bringing Wagner back. No, he's all right. Oh, really? You're looking Wagner yeah. last year. Uh, he did, he he's did a did banger. Okay. Yeah. He's one of those guys that gets stuck in there. The problem is, with, with Wendell and Mo, you really need somebody a little bit older in there, don't you? Personally. I would bring a, a more veteran centre in. If it He's was going good. off in the Olympics. 
Who is Wagner? Wagner, yeah. I think he's really well. Yeah. Right, who are we calling then? Eight. Oh, like Josh just pulled a face, which I wasn't Moody. with. I'm sticking with Moody. Moody, yeah. <laughs> Moody for me. Big night. Oh, or Schengen, Wagner or Schengen, one of the two. I think it's too too high to take Schengen. Jalen Johnson. Mm. Hey, Chris, you going to message and make Shearer? Take the piss. Yes, mate. Yes, I am. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's funny how he didn't jump on, isn't it? Yeah, bottled it. Cr- crickets, isn't it? Crickets, nothing. <laughs> See, at the moment, would anybody be disappointed with who we picked at eight with what's left, the, the names that are getting mentioned? None of the names that have been mentioned. I, I think they're all quite good. Oh, picks Pick, in. Pick, Pick, getting predicted six to Pick, OKC. Picks so. in, guys. Yeah. All right. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm not happy with that one. I just see that on Twitter before it got announced. <laughs> Sources. Wow. I called it. I said you it. Let's call it, Mikey. You did. It's Mikey such a it. such a magic thing to do, though, isn't it? Hey, I trust <sighs> Weltman. He's he knows more than I do. So. Yeah. Yeah, you know that's I mean? good. Good shout. I'm going to go buy his jersey right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, with 50% still off? How does that feel? Yeah. Yeah. For, him, for him, it might be 90. Can you see if he thinks the player? So again, Barry? Obviously, Wagner impressed me last season. But for everyone that I've been looking at, talking about this kid, I've said he's twice the player in brother. <laughs> Okay. So here's home. How are we feeling? How are we feeling about Meh? Yeah. yeah. I'm disappointed. Yeah. I'm not Meh. Gonna lie. I want it moody. <laughs> mm, so do I. We got Suggs, so moody on the board, I think. Unless but... unless we oh, pick the trade back. Oh. Yeah, I think Ollie's right. We've got Suggs at five, so. Get Wagner, Ian, hopefully comes in. He's more, of a, he's more of a wing, isn't he? He's more of a. Would you say he's more of a three? Yeah, he's great defensively. Yeah. Really, really good defensively, but he's got a lot of sailing offensively. So. Being in it yesterday, he said he was he grown two inches over the summer. He's two, six foot eleven now, so isn't he? Really? Hmm. So he said he could play the five if he had to sort of stretch it small, a bit small. No, he's too small for that. So you think? wanted one good player and one risk player. Is this the risk player that people might have wanted? Possibly. I think it's probably more yeah. the safe player, isn't it? Mm. So developed. He's a pure Do we think he's been penciled in for the start or has it changed since we get Suggs? I hope I we haven't taken someone based on from this.
The only problem I have with Wagner is he seems to be jack of trades, but master of none. Doesn't seem to have like any good trade about him. Is Mo Wagner still under contract with us all? No, I think it was just the end of the season, but they might resign him. May as well. Who's that? Sorry, I wasn't listening to that bit. His brother, Mo Wagner. Gosh, like crickets again, Chris, isn't it? After that <laughs> pick. Hey, I'm just glad we didn't end up with Barnes. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we fell really on our feet, mate. We got so we surprised. Go. That's yeah. wicked. We got mm. Trust me with that. Trust the, trust the front office. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. I don't think we're going to have to. One hundred percent. They've got to have thought this through and picked him. Uh, you know, above the other guys, were, we we were saying they must have got a really good reason for it. I trust. Go on off. Going off body language, just when they were introducing them before, I'm really glad that we didn't select Kaminga or Bone out. Looking at how they walked on the stage and mm. just going off of body language, the body language just wasn't great from those two. And I know it's not what you go off, but if, if I was interviewing people, I would look yeah. at how those two ended and go, eh, not that sure. Could, that could potentially be nerves, though. Um, it could be. But it could be, but... But then Kaminga said in his uh, interview when he when he when he was brought in with the magic, he said, oh, "I'm not going to slide past five, didn't he?" <laughs> really? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Actually, well, anyone watching... that wears an orange suit, that's, they don't have nerves, do they? If you wear a suit, <laughs> no. I'm watching with my mate at the minute, and he's a uh, OKC fan, and he's absolutely shell shocked that they didn't take Bonite. He was yeah. convinced that he was going there. Josh Giddy's a massive reach, man. Yeah, huge. Very. Huge, man. <laughs> Mind you, in terms of attitude, that's, wasn't it Cole who was sort of saying he should never have been that low in the...